उन्नीस सौ सन्नी पूर्वाल राजन बांदेलकर अभय चांडक शिशिर बैजल ऑल द डिग्नेटरीज प्रेजेंट इन दिस ऑगस्ट गैदरिंग लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू विजिट this beautiful property expo organized by narendra ko and uh, perhaps this seems to be one of the biggest expo <laughs> in the history of mumbai we must also thank uh, this geo convention center which has facilitated organizing uh, such beautiful expos i think uh, as rightly demonstrated by mr bhaijal the industry has revived and uh, as per the findings of uh, night frank i think we should not just curse the corona but there have been uh, few better developments because of corona as well and one of the good development is revival of real estate industry due to corona i think said that uh, we hope that we never face uh, such a epidemic ever in, in our life but i think uh, after looking at uh, all the stalls in uh, this exhibition who's who from uh, the real estate world is present here and i think for the home buyers it is a it's a feast uh, they get a huge choice to choose from uh, as per their affordability and to tie up with them are the financial institutions who would uh, maybe tie up with them then and there so it's a sort of touch point where a home buyer can uh, actually fulfill his wish or her wish i still remember that uh, i had visited uh, the red cross exhibition i think 3 4 years back i don't what is it was 3 years back or 4 years back and uh, that was a time when uh, our rera had already uh, began its work and i think uh, rera has also brought a lot of credibility to the industry because uh, the faith of buyers have increased and also uh, it has given leverage to all those uh, developers who want to do good practice and uh, i'm very happy that uh, we were first create the rera and uh, it has become very successful and rajan today was telling me that uh, the first incidence of uh, uh, section 7 uh, case is now uh, they have already uh, started and one of the project which was stuck due to uh, certain legal problems and uh, developer uh, unfortunately uh, being jailed is now getting resolved i think that is what is expected because Uh, huge investments have become uh, dead in the real estate industry because of various problems due to many times policy changes sometimes due to uh, you know monetary problems problems with uh, uh, agencies problems with uh, uh, financial institutions and people are also suffering so one task as a housing minister Uh, which i have undertaken is to you know find out solutions so that uh, we actually uh, release and realize this potential uh, which has already been invested and now which is dormant and which is of no use so i think uh, i'll take the help of narendra ko and uh, we will try and uh, uh, you know uh, leverage this investment uh, towards benefit of all the investors uh, and we will resolve the problems of the industry i'm very happy that uh, you recognized our efforts uh, of creating infrastructure in mumbai 
I think uh, we want to make Mumbai not just a livable city, but uh, we want to provide quality living to the people of Mumbai. And uh, that's why the entire connectivity which we are creating, although due to various reasons, including Corona, it has delayed by one or two years. But uh, now this connectivity has taken its space. And uh, we, we aspire to you know, create a Mumbai where from one corner to any other corner of Mumbai one can reach in less than one hour. And that is actually our dream. And I think after all our uh, uh, public transport projects, including uh, our metro projects, our over and our infrastructure projects like uh, uh, our uh, coastal road, our Trans Harbour link, once uh, we complete them, I think we can realize this dream as well. I must tell you that now all the projects, infrastructure projects, are revived, they are brought, to, brought on track, and hopefully from next year, uh, you will see the delivery uh, starting, whether it is metro, whether it is the coastal road, or whether it is Trans Harbour Lake. By end of next year, most of these things will be, will be operational, and that will actually open up entire new area for, uh, you know, development for uh, the real estate. We all know that Mumbai is a landlocked city, it's a, it's an island city. So there are, you know, many problems uh, in, the, in the real estate development in Mumbai. Uh, many places we require uh, entirely different dispensations or separate dispensations. But once Mumbai is connected to the hinterland, uh, via, uh, you know, this Trans Harbour link and uh, uh, we aspire to create Naina, which is, uh, which is a sort of third Mumbai. So we have <coughs> Mumbai, New Mumbai, and Naina will be third Mumbai, which is uh, near the New Mumbai airport. So I think uh, that will open up entire, uh, you know, new area for real estate developers and that will also uh, moderate uh, the prices of real estate for a common man, common person. Having said that, uh, uh, Sandeep, you have, uh, and also, uh, I think Sandeep Rajan or Ms. Bajal, uh, they have all stressed upon uh, some concessions from the government. So, uh, I would certainly, you know, discuss uh, your proposal with uh, the Chief Minister. One thing uh, I would like to tell you, rest assured, we want this industry to grow because this industry provides 20% of the jobs. So it's a, it's a job providing industry. It accelerates our growth. And uh, we feel that uh, uh, we have to work uh, uh, hand in hand with this industry. So you have seen me working five years. And now again, uh, my colleague and our chief minister, uh, Mr. Eknath Chinde, he is also very open to help the industry. We both understand that. Uh, it's not a mere money minting machine, but it's a some it's an industry which contributes a lot into our growth. So we'll sit with you uh, like we used to sit with you, uh, and we'll try to understand your problems. We'll try to address your problems, and we'll try to take decisions. I think uh, we are known for one thing, and that is taking quick decisions. We don't uh, you know uh, just sit on the files. We actually try to you know, take the decisions. So soon, uh, we will take uh, some good decisions. Uh, even now in Mumbai, uh, through our MADA and SRA, we are actually uh, promoting a lot of housing. We are taking uh, new projects. Uh, I think uh, in days to come, uh, we will also see starting off uh, the Dharavi project. We have already uh, given all approvals to Dharavi and uh, the bid is, bid is also out. So, hopefully, in the next three to four months, three months, we will uh, be, you know, we will be able to actually award the Dharabi bid, and uh, that will be one of the uh, biggest urban renewal project, one of the biggest, uh, you know, project that will change the face of uh, entire Mumbai. And there are many such projects, like uh, the projects in the 56 uh, layouts developed by Mada. We want to redevelop them. That will uh, redefine, you know, the the, the way Mumbai uh, looks, the way uh, you know Mumbai provides homes, and in all these endeavors, we would uh, like your support. We would like uh, 
you know your participation it's very important because you bring fresh ideas uh, government has its own ideas but the private sector brings fresh ideas private sector brings fresh technology uh, and now uh, you know uh, i think uh, the financial institutions are also very keen to closely work with the government so that would be a a, a mix which would uh, give a lot of benefits to the people of mumbai so i would like to once again congratulate uh, naredko for this uh, property expo 2022 uh, this has been a very amazing expo actually i would have loved to spend 3 4 hours here because uh, you know you get to see so many different type of designs so many different type of technologies and uh, so many different type of ideas and that that actually you know changes your mindset as well but today i am i'm a little time stuck so uh, i think uh, i don't know up till when you are continuing this expo but if i come back from nagpur and the expo is still here i'll just come here as a visitor to you know take uh, uh, you know all the ideas from uh, the brilliant people who, who have put up their calls here i would like to congratulate to banan all thank you for calling me and thank you for giving me this opportunity to interact with you jai hind jai maharashtra